Deadly Train Disaster Greece 2023 Prepare yourself for a thrilling exploration into one of the deadliest train disasters in Greek history. On that fateful day, a head-on collision between two trains in the Tempe Valley shook the nation to its core. What unfolded in the moments leading up to this catastrophic event? How did the collision between the Intercity 62 passenger train and an intermodal freight train claim the lives of so many? Join us as we dive into the quest for answers amidst the wreckage. Who were the individuals on board these ill-fated trains? And what dark secrets will be unveiled? Get ready for a gripping journey that will leave you breathless as we unravel the mysteries of the deadliest rail disaster in Greek history. On February 28, 2023, a tragic head-on collision took place between two trains in the vicinity of Tempe Valley in Greece. The incident occurred approximately halfway between the towns of Tempe and Evangelismos, located in the Thessaly region. The collision involved the Intercity 62 passenger train and an intermodal freight train, resulting in a devastating loss of life. At least 57 individuals were killed in the accident, making it the deadliest rail disaster in Greek history. Investigations revealed that the IC-62 passenger train had been mistakenly allowed to proceed on the wrong track, disregarding signals indicating the presence of the freight train on the same track. Following the incident, Greece witnessed a wave of sorrow with vigils held to honor the victims. Additionally, anger and frustration escalated, leading to protests and clashes between demonstrators and law enforcement officials. Commencing on March 2, 2023, employees of Hellenic Train and the Athens Metro initiated a strike, aiming to draw attention to the safety concerns associated with the crash. Prompted by the gravity of the situation and acknowledging his responsibility for the accident, Transport Minister Kostas Karamandis tendered his resignation. He acknowledges failure to modernize Greek railways to meet the standards of the 21st century. The ill-fated IC-62 passenger train operated by Hellenic Train, a subsidiary of Ferrovi dello Stato Italian, was no ordinary locomotive. It boasted a sleek fleet of Hellenic Train UIC Z1 coaches meticulously crafted by Siemens at SGP Graz and Bombardier at Dunakisi carriage workshops. These cutting-edge carriages were built upon the Vlagio Classic Platform, a marvel derived from the OBB Modular Wagen, delivering comfort and style. Guiding this magnificent convoy was the mighty Hella Sprinter locomotive. Scheduled to grace Thessaloniki Station at the stroke of 11.35 p.m. local time, the IC-62 passenger train was embarking on a journey that would tragically alter the course of Greek rail history. Meanwhile, the freight train numbered 63503 rumbled forward, pulled by the robust Hella Sprinter locomotives of Class 120012 and Class 120022. This formidable beast hauled a collection of flat cars laden with precious cargo, sheet steel, and shipping containers. But earlier on that fateful day, chaos had gripped the rails. A devastating explosion in the electricity network at Palio Farsilos railway station sent shockwaves through the system. The ensuing chaos caused the overhead line to collapse upon an intercity train, triggering a chain reaction of delays along the line. The crash site itself was a somber scene, located adjacent to an overpass on the A1 motorway, a segment that had been reconstructed in 2003 as part of the Larissa to Thessaloniki mainline project. Unfortunately, the implementation of the European Train Control System, or ETCS, initially slated for 2020 had been delayed until late 2023. This setback, combined with the temporary loss of telematics in Larissa due to a summer wildfire in 2019, highlighted the challenges faced by the Greek railway system. Tragically, this collision became the latest in a series of rail accidents that, fortunately, had not claimed any lives. Little did anyone know that the events of that day would forever change the course of Greek rail safety and ignite a firestorm of scrutiny and demands for progress. In a fateful journey from Athens to Thessaloniki, the IC-62 train embarked on its route carrying a bustling crowd of around 350 passengers. Among them were young students returning from vibrant Greek Orthodox Lent celebrations. However, the journey took an unexpected turn. Delays had plagued the IC-62 train from the start. An earlier incident at Pelio Forsalo Station caused a disruption, pushing the train behind schedule. Arriving in Larissa late, the train departed at 11 p.m., directed onto the southbound track. Unbeknownst to them, another train, a freight train, was already on the same track, making its way from Thessaloniki to Larissa. 
Tragically, the station master, relatively inexperienced in his role, made a fatal error, instructing the IC-62 train to proceed despite reg signals, blatantly disregarding safety measures. The collision, a catastrophic moment, shook the night at 11.21 p.m. along the double-tracked Athens-Thessaloniki mainline. The two trains collided between the towns of Tempe and Evangelismos as the passenger train emerged from a tunnel beneath the E-75 roadway. The darkness enveloped the scene, leaving the train drivers with precious little time to react. The passenger train hurtled at estimated speeds of 140 to 160 kilometers per hour, sealing the impending disaster. The impact unleashed a wave of destruction, derailing the first four carriages of the passenger train. Tragically, the first two carriages succumbed to fire, their charred remnants bearing witness to the sheer devastation. In a race against time, passengers fought to escape, navigating through shattered windows and tilting compartments. It was a desperate struggle for survival amidst the chaos. Swiftly, firefighters and rescue teams descended upon the scene, battling fierce flames that engulfed multiple train cars. The magnitude of the wreckage demanded extraordinary measures. Crane trucks in the aid of a Hellenic army were enlisted, working hand-in-hand -hand to extricate the trapped carriages and provide assistance. The toll of this calamity was heart-wrenching. At least 57 lives were lost, etching this disaster as the deadliest in Greek history. Over 250 survivors, some with minor injuries, were evacuated to Thessaloniki, finding solace in the embrace of support and care. The tragic collision claimed the lives of at least 57, leaving a trail of sorrow in its wake. Additional 80 people suffered injuries, with 25 of them enduring severe wounds. Among the injured, 66 individuals were hospitalized and 6 were admitted to intensive care units. The identification process was arduous as the intense heat within the first carriage had reached staggering temperatures of up to 1,300 degrees Celsius. The victims hailed from various backgrounds with six Albanians, two Cypriot students, a Romanian, and a Bangladeshi counted among those who tragically lost their lives. This rail disaster stands as the deadliest in Greek history forever etching its mark of sorrow. In the aftermath of the catastrophe, the Greek government swiftly convened an emergency meeting to address the devastating consequences. Health Minister Thanos Pelvris personally visited the scene to assess the situation. President Katerina Sakharopoulou, cutting short her visit to Moldova, extended support to the victims, offering solace and compassion during this time of immense grief. Notably, EMAK, the Greek Special Disaster Management Unit, temporarily halted their operations on site to accommodate President Sakharopoulou's visit, allowing her to grasp the gravity of the accident. Symbolic acts of remembrance unfolded as she solemnly placed flowers inside the charred carriages that were yet to be fully investigated. The significance of the tragedy reverberated beyond Greek borders. The European Commission building in Brussels lowered its flags to half-mast as a mark of solidarity and respect. Albania, deeply moved by the loss of life, declared March 5th as a national day of mourning, with flags flying at half-mast across the country. The Albanian parliament, too, observed a solemn minute of silence, honoring the lives that were tragically cut short.